DEA, military. Hello, welcome to our Recap Plus channel with me, Matthew. Today we will watch a recap movie called The Commando, released in 2022. This is a spoiler content video. So please turn on the subtitle and let's start the story. The movie opens at a cartel lab where a DEA SWAT team, led by elite agent James Baker, is preparing to storm the lab. The sniper eliminates the first guard, giving the SWAT team the go-ahead. A firefight breaks out between the criminals and the SWAT team upon their arrival at the lab. When the authorities gain the upper hand, the criminals escape downstairs. James and his team go downstairs, continuing to eliminate the criminals. After eliminating most of the Mexican cartel, James orders the last remaining thug to drop his weapon. However, he is momentarily distracted by another criminal, and the thug pounces on James with a knife but is soon stunned. The villains are eventually eliminated, but James discovers that he inadvertently killed three hostages. Due to hallucinations and nightmares from PTSD resulting from killing innocents, James is sent home to recover. He finally meets his wife and two teenage daughters after a long time. The narrative then shifts to an imprisoned criminal named Johnny. Johnny, set to be freed soon, faces revenge from a group of imprisoned men for past deeds. However, Johnny easily defeats his enemies and sits down to light a cigarette. A former veteran who served in Iraq and Afghanistan, Johnny, through good behavior, convinces the authorities that he deserves a second chance and is released from prison. Meanwhile, James has dinner with his family, haunted by the hostages' fate. Later, the daughters gift their parents a small vacation in the mountains to spend time together. At the prison, Johnny's friends pick him up, asking about the money he hid before imprisonment. In a flashback, we learn Johnny hid $3 million in a house. It turns out that James and his family reside in the very house where Johnny hid his loot. In fact, James' daughter unexpectedly discovered the money, leading to a chain of events where the daughters use the money to pay for a vacation for their parents. One evening, as one daughter takes more money from the bag, her sister discovers it, leading to an argument about ownership. Meanwhile, Johnny and his friends go to meet his brother, emphasizing the need for a quiet retrieval of the money. That evening, the gang arrives at James's house. A man examines the house and reveals four people inside. James, sleepwalking, wakes up and shoots at the window through which the gang tries to enter. The three run away, and James wakes up frightened. His wife takes his gun, and he suggests leaving for their safety, but she insists he stay. The next day, an old friend of James, Sebastian, visits him. James asks Sebastian to stay behind to defend his family in case he loses control again. He seeks help from a doctor, who explains the normalcy of his experiences after trauma. Meanwhile, Johnny's henchman informs him of James' career. Johnny asks his police officer friend for help, promising him 10% of the $3 million. James, grappling with the aftermath of a traumatic incident, seeks guidance from a psychologist who suggests a vacation with his wife might aid in his recovery. Subsequently, James is taken to the police station, where Johnny's policeman friend informs him of an arrest warrant against him. James, however, realizes that the order lacks the judge's signature, rendering it invalid. The policeman contacts Johnny, revealing that the plan failed, and James is free to go. That afternoon, James and his wife depart for their vacation in the mountains, leaving their two daughters at home. As they drive away, one of the goons feigns checking the car's engine, while the other, Dominic, eagerly plans to enter the house. In the evening, the henchmen prepare their weapons, unaware of the sisters' plan to host a party with friends to watch a movie. Despite this, the henchmen remain unconcerned and proceed with their mission. Meanwhile, James and his wife, still traveling, grapple with James' persistent flashbacks of the earlier incident. Concerned, his wife inquires about what happened, prompting James to reveal the accidental killing of three hostages. At home, Natalie, one of the daughters, locks herself in her room during the party. Accidentally dropping a lamp, she discovers a box hidden by Johnny containing money, a valuable ring, and a picture of a woman. Natalie decides to conduct an internet search on the house's previous owners, discovering an article about Johnny's arrest and a photo of the woman, presumably his ex-wife. Natalie hides the box in her PC case and contacts James' friend Sebastian to share her findings. She also informs him about Johnny's arrest, and Sebastian advises her to remain calm, hide the money, and talk to her sister. Meanwhile, Dominic, one of the henchmen, takes pills to bolster his courage before their operation. Returning to Natalie, she finds her sister having fun with a boy and informs her about what she found. 
Natalie attempts to contact her father, leaving a message urging him to call back immediately. The goons approach the house, don masks, and discover two teenagers in a car. A henchman captures the boy, while the girl tries to escape, resulting in Dominic shooting her. Sebastian senses something is amiss and instructs the teens to go home. Another person outside becomes a victim as Dominic shoots him. The goons break into the house, and Dominic continues his spree, killing the teens. Natalie locks herself in her room, hiding under the bed. She calls her mother's phone and James answers, but he doesn't hear her well and promises to call back later. His wife urges James to call back, but they find themselves without any signal. Meanwhile, in the house, Dominic breaks into Natalie's room and discovers her. When James finally regains the signal, he sees Natalie's message about criminals entering the house. Unsure whether he's hallucinating again or if it's real, James plays the message for his wife, who confirms its authenticity. He attempts to call Sebastian, but there's no answer. They decide to return home immediately. Meanwhile, the henchman begins searching for the money hidden in the house. After moving the loot to the kitchen, one henchman realizes they have a problem, Johnny's dead wife's ring is missing. Additionally, Johnny's brother claims $100,000 is absent from the $3 million they were supposed to find. He confronts Natalie's sister, who denies knowledge. Fortunately, the other henchman discovers the last of the money behind a wall. Sebastian, with his hands tied, manages to free himself. He pounces on Johnny's brother and throws him to the ground. In the struggle, Sebastian slams the henchman's head against the floor and shoots him in the head. Another henchman arrives and kicks Sebastian in the head. The henchman calls Johnny, informing him of his brother's death. The action shifts to a street fight, where Ray, an old friend of Johnny's, defeats another man. Ray then meets Johnny, whom he hasn't seen in many years. Johnny reveals that someone killed his brother and instructs them to follow him, as he has a job for them. Later, Johnny and the gang of thugs arrive at James's house. Johnny finds his brother's body, takes a knife, and stabs Sebastian to death. He takes Sebastian's phone, calls James, and warns him that touching his daughters means death. James retorts that Johnny is already late, waiting for him. Johnny takes Natalie to his room, and she gives him the box with the ring. James and his wife finally arrive home, and he instructs her to stay in the car while he deals with the criminals. Approaching the house, James is spotted by a couple of henchmen in the car. One gets out to check, and James, hiding under the car, immediately incapacitates him. The other goon tries to exit the car, but James beats him unconscious. James proceeds to walk past the house, killing two more thugs. As he walks, a henchman attempts to hit him in the head, but James knocks him to the ground. He receives a message from his wife, informing him that she has called the police. Dominic goes outside and discovers the bodies. James enters the house, finds the first daughter, and instructs her to go outside and escape. Later, a henchman tries to stab James, but he notices the shadow and kills him. Meanwhile, Johnny and his men are informed that James is here. When Ray sees him, he challenges James to hand-to-hand -to -hand combat. James manages to wound him a couple of times with a knife, but Ray throws it away from him. However, he still manages to get the upper hand, and with two kicks to the head, he knocks Ray out. Dominic enters the house with the gun, and James surprises him from behind. Dominic tries to shoot him, but he turns his hand toward himself and pulls the trigger. Next, he goes upstairs. A henchman, Trey, is holding Natalie hostage and threatening James that he will kill her. Nevertheless, James points the gun at him and kills him with a shot. He then hugs his daughter and tells her to run downstairs. James calls Johnny by name and tells him that only the two of them are left. He opens the door to the room Johnny is in and throws Trey's body in, which Johnny shoots a couple of times. The two then engage in hand-to-hand -hand combat, with James smashing his face in. Soon, the policeman arrives, and James manages to convince him to shoot Johnny, then split the money and leave. The policeman agrees and kills Johnny, but then James' wife arrives and shoots the policeman. Finally, the authorities arrive, and James and his family are safe and sound.